Italy is one of the countries hardest hit by COVID-19. A Maine native who is in Italy now reached out to us to offer some advice on dealing with the virus. As New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry reports, he says it is as important as ever to listen to state and municipal orders and to self-distance. Justin Gray and his family have been on lockdown in Milan for more than three weeks. It, it, it just seems like people don't take it seriously at the time when they needed to take it seriously. A warning from a Yarmouth native now living in one of the biggest epicenters of COVID-19. Don't see this as something that's not going to affect you because that, that was my instinct at, at first as well. And that was the instinct of many people here in Italy. That was a month ago. Now, Italy has more than 80,000 positive cases of the coronavirus with a 10% death rate. It's now against the law to go anywhere non-essential. And if the police stop you, which they are doing, they, they did to us, they, you have to sign it on the bottom saying, this is where I'm going, this is why I'm doing it, and they, they co-sign it as well. So it's, it's really quite a, quite a bizarre, bizarre thing. Gray says he knows many younger people will likely be okay if they get COVID-19. But there are two groups he's thinking of protecting during this time, the elderly and our healthcare workers. So maybe if we catch it, uh, then, then we will need the healthcare system, right? And we're going to put an extra burden on these people who are already working incredibly long shifts, stressed out and tired. When asked what he wants to say to fellow Mainers. And I would just really encourage people, well, it's, it seems to be earlier in Maine to, to try to break the chain early. Jackie Mundry.